Hello TCC friends, it's Bonnie here again, this time bringing you an upper body Pilates workout using the TheraBand. Now, most of you I think actually have a TheraBand at home because so many of us have either used them for physical therapy or have bought them sometime in the past to use while we're traveling. Especially if you come to my classes frequently, you'll know how much I urge people to go and get their own. So to start this workout today, let's just put the flex band down on the ground, step on it with your two feet. The two feet should be about hip distance apart so that the middle of your heels line up with the middle of your buttocks, which is where your sit bones are, and then hold with some tautness on the band. Okay, widen the collarbone a little bit and let's simply breathe. We're gonna take inhale through the nose, have the ribs go out to the side, exhale through the mouth through pursed lips. Again, inhale, all of the thoughts of things that have happened in your day so far, let them go away. And on exhale, just concentrate on yourself, on your muscles, on your bones, on your well-being. Inhale, reach that top of the head up to the ceiling, and exhale, keep reaching that head and spine upward and pull the ribs in. One more time, inhale. Lengthen your spine, let the ribs expand. And as you exhale, not only pull your ribs in, keep the length along the spine and pull up gently on your pelvic floor so that you feel a little tightening in the low belly area. Now let's get ready to move. If your band is pretty long, then you can probably be standing in the middle of the band. If your band tends to be short, then just step on it with one foot and then use only one arm on one side. My band is long so that I can just hold it with two sides. All right, keep your shoulders down, your ribs pulled in, your pelvic floor lifting gently. And I want you to exhale and lift the straight arm just to the side to where the shoulder is and bring it down. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. I'm gonna do two more. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Bring the arm to the front so that it's coming straight in front of your shoulder and lift it up here to shoulder height and lower it down. You'll notice that there's no movement in the rest of my body. It's just my right arm going up and down. I'm trying to make the arm move at the same velocity going up and coming down. We have two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now we'll put those two together so exhale up the front, inhale, bring it down to the side and let it come down. Then you're gonna bring it up the side, bring it to the front and let it come down. Up the front, out to the side, down on the side. Up the side, to the front, down in the front. One more, lift, Bring it out to the side, lower it down. Lift, bring it to the front, lower it down. Time to do the second side. Okay, have the palm facing out to begin with, and the left side goes up and down. Try to determine whether there's a difference between the strength of your right shoulder and the strength of your left. Could very well be. Three more. Four, and five, one more, six. Now the arm, instead of going up the side, comes up the front. So it's six, and I don't know about you, but when I do this, I really have to engage my abdominals, I really have to stabilize my shoulders, because otherwise my body's gonna respond. Two more, two, and one, good. Now we're gonna put it together. 
So we come up the front, out to the side, down slowly in the side. Up the side, bring it to the front, down in the front. Exhale up, inhale to move to the side, exhale down, inhale regroup, exhale up the side, inhale to the front, exhale down. We have one more on either side. On one side, up, out, down, exhale up, bring it front, bring it down. Good work. Okay, just have, you could hold a little further down, have your elbows close to your body but not braced on your body. And let's just do a set of bicep curls. Because why not? We've got two more. And then step off your band. You're going to have a single length of the band and put it in your hands. You'll hold the band at shoulder height slightly wider than your shoulders. For the first move, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what's happening to my arms. All right, we're going to keep a little tension on the band, squeeze the shoulder blades together, bring them back to a center point, and come forward. Bring them to the center. Retract. Center, protract, center, retract, center, protract, center, retract, center, protract, center, retract, center, protract, center. Holding the arms in the center, pull your ribs in and lift your arms up and lower them down. Lift them up and lower them down. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Lift up, lower down. As the arms go up, feel the shoulder blades go down. One more time, you're gonna bring it up there and hold. Keep your head centered on the middle of the band and side bend to the right and side bend to the left and side bend to the right and side bend to the left. Side bend right. Side bend left. Side bend right. Side bend left. Stop, lower the arms to shoulder height, and you're gonna pull that band straight across your chest and come together. Now you may need to widen your hands a little bit where they're holding on the band. I don't, but you might and come back. Exhale as you pull. Inhale as you release. Exhale as you pull. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull. Inhale, release. Hold those arms nice and straight. You're going to keep your hips stable and move from your waist and above, keeping your nose and your sternum aligned with the center of the band. And on the exhale, you're going to rotate your upper body and come back to the center. Rotate and come back to the center. As I move to the right with my upper body, the same side hip moves a little bit forward so it doesn't start going back with my upper body. You want to disassociate the movement of the upper body with the movement of the lower body. Good, let's do two more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. Bring the arms above your head again. Relax your shoulders, pull your ribs in, and then you bend your arms to a right angle and pull the band behind your head and bring it up to the ceiling. Bring it down, bring it up. Exhale, feel your shoulder blades come together at the inner bottom tips. We have two more. And now we have one more. Hold it there, and if you can, just straighten your arms in back of you. For the next one, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you see it better. You're gonna stand up straight, draw your chin to your chest, flex down so your upper body is flexing, and hang your head. The band 
comes down toward the back of your ankles. You can bend your knees a little bit if you want to. Now your arms are going to go straight back. Your chest is going to come straight forward and you flatten out. And then you flex down. You flatten out and you flex down. Think of your back flat, flattening and your chest reaching and go down. We have three more. It's three and two. One more. Hold it here and stand up straight. Bring the band forward in a complete circumduction of the arm. So now let's put all of those moves together in a flow and we'll do, say, two of each. How's that? Okay, so your arm's going to start in front of you. This is a challenge for your brain as well as for your body. Right? So you're going to retract the shoulders and protract them. Retract them and protract them, bring them to a center point. Lift the arms above your head and lower them down. Lift the arms above your head and hold them there. Side bend to the right and side bend to the left. Side bend to the right. Remember to center your head on the band. Side bend to the left. Come back to the center. Lower your arms. Pull the band across your chest and back. Pull it across your chest and back. Hold the arms straight out in front of you. Align your nose and your sternum with the middle of the band and keep your hips stable as you rotate right and rotate left and rotate right and rotate left. Come back to the center, lift your arms above your head, pull your arms to goal post, reach them to the ceiling, pull them to goal post, reach them to the ceiling, pull them to goal post and bring them down. You're going to flex down Bend your knees if you, that's good for you. And stretch forward, come back. And again, stretch, flattening your back. And stand up, circumduct the arms from the back to the front. We're gonna go through that just one more time and everything will initiate on the left now. All right, so we're gonna retract and protract. Retract and protract, bring the arm bones in the center point of the shoulder socket. Hold your ribs in, lift up, and bring it down. Lift up and hold it there. Center your head in the middle of the band, and exhale, side bend to the left, and then go to the right. And to the left, and to the right. Bring the band down to shoulder height. Open it across your chest, and close it. Open it across your chest, and close it, hold your arms straight to the front, and you're going to rotate to the left, keeping your nose and your sternum aligned with the center of the band, keeping your hips still. Exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale. Band goes up above your head, elbows bend, it comes behind your head and stretches to the ceiling. It comes behind your head and stretches to the ceiling. It comes behind your head, you stretch your arms long in back of you. You flow down in a forward fold, bending your knees. Keep very rounded. And then stretch your back as you pull your arms back. You go down to the flow or the flexion and come up straight back. Stand right up. And instead of bringing the arms forward, just wrap the band around your back right so that you can cross it at your sternum here. Elbows should be just in front of your ribs. Palms are up, thumbs are out. And then you're gonna keep your elbows where they are and pivot your lower arms out and in. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, inhale. It's three, good, and two, we have one more. Uncross the band. Okay, have the palms facing up and reach out towards me, then open out your arms, close them, bend them back in. Exhale to reach, inhale to open, 
Exhale, close. Inhale, back in. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Let's give it a little challenge now. As you press your arms out, lift your heels so that you're on the balls of your feet. Open out. Close your arms. Lower your heels. Now, if you feel really tippy today, don't bother doing this. But if you want to challenge and get strengthening in your ankles, join me. Lift your heels. Keep them lifted as the arms go out. Bring the arms together. Lower the heels. One more time. Up and out. Together and down. Now bring your arms out to the side. And without moving your arms much, rotate your hands at the wrist in one direction. And then try to rotate in the other direction. Try to get as much mobility in those wrists as you can. Then hold the wrist straight, hold the shoulders down, and circle the arms. Good, and reverse your circle. They're not too big, but you should be feeling a certain amount of strain in your shoulders now, building up stamina and strength. Hold it there, and lower your arms. Do a shoulder roll. It's time now to take the band and put it on the ground, one end. So not in the center anymore, but you're gonna have one end of the band on the mat. You're going to step on one end of the band. I'm stepping on it with my right foot, and I'm stepping in toward the band with my left, okay? So my left foot is really the one anchoring the band at the moment, and instead of holding it with my left hand, I'm going to bring that band across the body, reach the knuckles out towards you, and just hold it here. Okay, so the left arm is straight, the right arm is straight. I want you to bring the right arm out to the side and back to the center. So it's horizontal abduction and adduction. Exhale and inhale. We have three more. It's three and two. Just one more. One. Now, as we move the arm, the challenge is can we then abduct the opposite side leg? So you going to make sure that you're standing on the band of with the outside foot here that's very well anchored. As you pull the arm across, the inside leg is going to lift. And do it again. Two. Exhale. Three. And four. Feel the work in the outer hip. Five. Six. We're doing two more of these. Seven, one more, eight, back down. Put the band in the same side hand, for me it's the left, where you feel the, the band really being anchored by that foot. You're going to have the knuckles facing the ceiling and the elbow facing the floor and punch the ceiling. If you don't feel anything, you'll have to hold lower down and punch and bend and punch and bend. We have three and two. One last time, one. Okay, now punch the ceiling once and then get ready to start moving the opposite leg again. So as the elbow comes down, the knee is going to come up and it looks like this. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now you're trying to stay very straight. You're not trying to crunch. Stay up straight and use your hip flexor. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. We have two more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Bring the arm down. Put the band in the opposite arm again. That's coming across your body like you were at the beginning. Bring the moving arm out once and bend the elbow, okay? So I'm gonna hold it lower to get more tension for me. And then with the elbow bent and pointing away from me, 
So if you're going to open the arm and close it without ever dropping that elbow, really stabilizing through the shoulder and working through the tricep at the other side of the arm from the bicep. Three, good. And two. And one. Okay, so now I've got my left leg, which is really stabilizing the band. You can see that. As my arm goes out, I'm going to take my right leg and bring it in back of me and curtsy and come back and curtsy and come back and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale. Maybe I can go lower. Exhale and inhale. Maybe not. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale and inhale. Okay, it's time to do the other side. So I'm just going to step off the band, put it down again. My left leg now is going to be stepping on the end of the band. My right leg is stepping about hip distance apart in toward the rest of the band and it's anchoring the band on this side. My left arm is reaching out towards you and we start with just the arm. It goes out and it comes in. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Three more like this. Open and close. Exhale. Inhale. Last time. Exhale. Inhale. Now we're going to add the legs, add the challenge of the balance and the hip. So as the arm goes out, it's still straight. The opposite leg is going to abduct to the side. So it's exhale, inhale. Remember the toes are pointing forward on the opposite leg, not to the side. We've got four more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more. Exhale, inhale, one more. Exhale, inhale. Put the, the band in the, it's my right arm, which is the same side, which is anchoring the band. Elbow points down, knuckle points up, body is straight, ribs are in, and you're going to punch the ceiling and bring it down. Extend the arm without lifting the shoulder. And up and down. We've got three more. It's three and two. On the last one, hold the arm up and get ready to bring the leg into a tabletop position as the elbow comes down. So it's one. Good, two, and inhale as they come together, exhale as they go apart. And let's do four, and three, two more, two, and one. Great, bring the arm down, bring it across your body again, so it's going to diagonally from the right leg to the left hand. And we're going to have the elbow pointing outward with the wrist pretty much in line with the front of the shoulder. And you do not want that elbow to drop in this. So just start with a tricep extension and bring it back. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. We have three more of these. Three and two and one. Now, this is my left arm. I'm going to take my left leg and take it from the outside edge of the band and bring it in back of me to curtsy as my arm extends. So we're going in curtsying and coming back. And curtsying and coming back. Your hips lower, but they don't twist. We have four more. Four and three. Two more, one more, bring it down, bring the band into your hands, bring it across your thighs, lift your chest but pull your ribs in, just get a little extension through the back and bring it down. Exhale and inhale, one more, exhale and inhale. That's what I have for your standing 
upper body warm up today. It'll be followed by a series on the mat with the band. So if you don't have a band and you want to do this, they're very inexpensive. You can find them on Amazon or any of your normal sporting outlets uh, and it shouldn't take you a few days to get them. Um, I hope you will try this because it's a really accessible kind of workout that you could do. To me, I feel like it's an old friend. Okay, stay well. Tune in for part two, which is down on the mat, emphasizing abdominals and legs, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.